Did you hear about the ship carrying red paint that crashed into the ship carrying blue paint? It was tragic. Both crews were marooned. Tuesday afternoon, Gary. Well, we got shaken. Uh, a lot. <laughs> well, this is a late model shirt, first of all, for a Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Turbo. He's our guy. Turbo uses Pit Boss Jacks. Um, we're building a jack down there for Brandon Shepard now. So, dirt late model racing is really, really cool. We don't build shocks for it. It's kind of not in our wheelhouse. I don't know anything about it. And uh, if I can't help the customer beyond shock support, I don't really feel comfortable jumping into that market. But um, our jacks work really well for the late model guys. So we've gotten to know a few of them guys doing doing uh, pit boss jacks for them. So yeah, just working on uh, getting some new stuff done to take back to Volusia uh, Sunday, Monday for the next couple outlaw races. And I'm um, getting ready to go race with Hudson. We were supposed to go last week, and California rained out. So getting ready for the first Dixie race. And uh, trying to shore everything up here, because it seems like after this weekend, we're on the road every single weekend, either with a shock trailer or racing with Hudson. So. Welcome to the band. Jack, what are we doing here, bud? Putting together some twin tube rod ends for Braden with some three click drivers. So, just making sure they're all functioning and everything. Ready to go race this weekend? Yeah, should be fun. Should be a good time down to Coin. Haven't been down there since the Junior Knepper, actually. Gotta grab some off tape. Okay, we're back from commercial. <laughs> but yeah, uh, haven't been to the coin since the Knepper, but I've only been to indoor races since then with uh, Shootout and Chili Bowl. So. Should be an overall good time down what do they call it the mini magic mile is that what it's called down there something like that yeah it should be, should be a good time definitely an enjoyable place and I, I got my start taking photos and micros so All right, what we got what we got going on here uh, we're making rod guide wrenches in uh, normal person terms what are we doing here Making shock tools. Cool. Have you uh, have you watched Drive to Survive yet? Not the latest season. Not the latest season. No. Who's your favorite like character boss? Definitely Toto Wolf. Toto guy. Yeah. Okay. He, so likes, he likes pumpernickel bread. <laughs> you got to find that clip and put it in here. Uh, zwei Pumpernickel ganz stark getoastet, aber so dass sie brechen. What? Gestern war es zu wenig, es muss echt wie ein Keks. Butter. Tomate, Salz. I don't fully, I don't understand. Pumpernickel. Cut. Did you watch uh, Daytona? I did not. Not a Daytona guy either, huh? No. It's getting warmer outside. It's almost race season. That means it's almost sprint car season. Yep. Ready to go? Sure. You're a man of many words today. <laughs> Did you, uh, did you watch Daytona? I watched the end, so it fell um, on my little guy Grant's birthday. Um, I got a lot of grief from my friends that we had a birthday party during the Daytona 500, but I, I had it on in the shop, and uh, it was really cool to see Ricky win. Um, I'm sure a lot of people in the dirt track world know Ricky much better than I do. I've worked with him a little bit when he drove Clausen's midgets, um, but just awesome to see a dirt track guy win. He genuinely seems like a really good dude, so happy. Happy for any dirt guy to, to win a race at a higher level. I think it shines a good light on our sport. Uh, we're like a week and a half away from sprint cars in Indiana. You going to, where are we going, Paragon? The 11th, no, I think? No, I, I won't be at Paragon. I'll be down in Clarksville uh, to support some longtime friends. Uh, 
down there. We've uh, run a modified down there and ran second too many times and had some bad luck. And hopefully this year we, we can bring home the toilet because it's the Tuckasee Toilet Bowl down at Clarksville Speedway. Fender car stuff, so it should be a good time. But I know every word of whiskey glasses front, back, uh, left to right, upside down, whatever you want to call it, because every third song was we're going on in whiskey glasses. You don't know who D.B. Cooper was? Uh, as a fellow American, I did not know. No, I did <laughs> uh, Drive to Survive just dropped. Have you uh, gotten to watch much yet? Very little. Uh, uh, I love that series. Um, I have watched the first episode, um, so hopefully I get uh, get some downtime in the evening to uh, catch up on it because um, I do dig it. My only complaint with it is I wish they would... As popular as it's gotten, it would be cool if they were always a week behind, right? Kind of like um, Hard Knocks with the NFL when they do the preseason, right? They're like always one week behind, so like the information's way more relevant. Because um, now, the behind the scenes is awesome, but you kind of already know what happens. Um, so I wish. Netflix, if you're watching, do it one week behind. Everybody would love it more. Do you think uh, like a behind the scenes Drive to Survive would work for like dirt track racing or sprint car racing? Um, I definitely think it would boost our sport in the same fashion that it boosted F1 to uh, Americans. Um, F1 is just grossly more popular now that that series happened. I think, I don't think, I know dirt track racing is way more exciting than F1. The way they dramatize a single pass is funny to me because um, it's just common practice in our kind of racing. Um, but yeah, the behind the scenes um, would be really, really cool. I don't know if um, the guys involved, guys and gals involved in our sport are clean cut and proper enough to... Um, make it be a hit show like Drive to Survive, right? Like they don't have million dollar contracts and deals on the line if they were to say something out of line. Um, I know NASCAR and IndyCar has like really tried to kind of knock off that Drive to Survive thing. I know IndyCar just announced a new behind the scenes series and hopefully those go well for those guys. But um, yeah, I like when Flo does like the crew diaries and stuff like that. I think that's a good stepping stone for our sport. Um, some of the streaming services to give more behind the scenes stuff. Um, because the fans dig that, right? Like you see the popularity of like David Gravel's YouTube page because he just does behind the scenes stuff. Um, Team is, and I'm glad those guys are being able to monetize. Well, I'm sure it's not a lot. At least they're getting something for their their effort to um, bring the fans kind of behind the curtain. <laughs> Thank you.